Hey everyone, I'm Nicholas and welcome back to another production bot video. In this episode, we're going to go over how to do key fill output from vMix. Now, for those of you that don't know what key fill means, it basically sends out two graphic channels or video channels, and this is meant for graphics. One will be the key and one will be the fill because you can't just send out a video with transparency like you would need for like a lower third or a bug or something to come up in a hardware switcher, especially. So to get around this, two channels are sent out. One is a key and one is a fill. Um, the fill is the actual graphics itself. That's uh, what you would see. And then the key basically tells the switcher like, hey, this is the space that you want to get rid of, or I want to like keep this. So like it says, keep this, get rid of this sort of blank space. And then that's how your switcher knows uh, what the graphics really show up as. So we're doing it with vMix. Uh, if you're doing it with just a base production bot, so a Switch Force or a Switch 8, um, it's not going to work because it needs a very specific uh, card. So a lot of the Black Magic cards, the uh, Decklink 8K, the Decklinks or the, the uh, Quad, the Duos, those all work. There are other Black Magic hardware as well that works that you can external from vMix. Those also work. And also Bluefish cards work with vMix as well. Um, I'm going to speak more to the Black Magic cards since that's actually what we have in this uh, production bot right here. So we're going to go over that and we're going to show you how to configure the card so that you can do key fill output with vMix. All right, so I'm here. You see I have vMix up. I have a little lower third right here. You see it has the transparency. It's a trans little transparent in the blue, not fully, and that all looks good. We're going to close out of that. I'm going to go to the desktop video setup app. So this is software that just tracks all the hardware, like cards that are connected to the uh, computer. So right here I have the Decklink Duo 2. And for Decklink Duo, this is kind of channel one. If I go to the settings for this and click on connectors, you'll see that I have SDI 1 and 2. That's using both of those to actually send out the key fill and that's how it's configured to work. If I go to the next one, you know Decklink Duo 2 here. I'll go to connectors. That one's using SDI 3. And then if I go to Decklink Duo 3, this one actually won't have anything. That's because this would have SDI 2 right there, but I'm using that in Decklink Duo 1. So that's how, um, so I'm not using that one at all and it's gonna stay blank. And then if I go to Decklink Duo 4 here and look at the connectors, you'll see we have SDI 4 right there. So to explain a little bit about the black magic cards at least, is, so this has uh, four bi-directional BNC, so these can either be inputs or outputs, but this actually has a fifth BNC connector right over here that's actually for reference. Um, all the cards will be different. It's really gonna depend on what black magic card you have. Uh, each will have different pinouts that you'll wanna reference the documentation for so you know what to connect the SDI to for the correct uh, outputs or inputs that you need to do key fill. I have this setup, so I have one and two are connected to three and four, and that's just to show that I can do, and I, I can bring them in and show you on vMix the actual, what the key fill looks like. All right, so back when I'm here, I have the deck link set up. I just wanna make sure my external is set up before I begin. So I'm gonna go to the cog wheel here and go to external output settings. And in here, you see I have Decklink Duo 1 already set up. Alpha channel right here, this is important. I have this set as pre-multiplied. You don't want this to be none because then you're not gonna have an alpha or it's not gonna know to, that you want an alpha channel. So I pre-multiply and that looks all good. So I click okay, we're all good. And then when I hit external, you'll see the key and the fill show up here, just like that. So right here on Decklink Duo 2, this is the key. So in hardware, you would say, hey, I wanna keep all of this uh, white space here all this black, you can key that out, get rid of it. Um, and then right here, this is the actual fill for the graphics. So if I look at this, you'll actually see that it's transparent right now. And that's because I actually have the key input set up already. If I get rid of this key fill input, you'll see it's just black, there's nothing there. But then by selecting it, you'll see that it actually keys out all of that black space, keeping what the key said was what we wanna keep. And that's how we have this going. It's gonna be different for every hardware switcher that you use. It's not gonna be the same way of getting it. So again, make sure you reference the documentation for your switchers so that you know how to set up the key fill graphics for this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Honestly, let us know down in the comments 
what you use for either graphic solution or what you use for a hardware switcher and like how you have your graphics solution for it. Because vMix can be a really powerful graphics solution. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.